Hello, I am Luke Jernasek and I am the creator of Chime Squirrel. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of the application and how it works and I will be demoing that for you as well. Uh, and then at the end I'll wrap it up with a few quick overviews and I uh, hope that you will have learned a lot. So first let's go ahead, let's open up the app. When you open up the app you will usually default into the last place you were. Uh, for me, that is the quick chime view that we're in right now. Uh, but first, let me overview the app. The main purpose behind Chime Squirrel is that I want to, to create an application that would be really quick and easy to create alarms for myself, uh, specifically repeatable alarms. But unlike a normal alarm system, like the kind you set in the morning, I did not want to have to interact with that alarm. I wanted it to just go off and notify me and that was it. I didn't want to have to interact with it at that point. So that's the whole theory behind this. It's something that's quick and easy to set up, something that you can start and that will not require your interaction uh, after it gives you its notification or whatever. All right, so the first thing to know about Chime Squirrel is that there are two types of chimes. There is the quick chime and there are interval chimes. When I first started, the quick chime was the bulk of it, and it's just an, it's a kind of chime where you can really get in there and set things up quickly and get running. Um, but in the name of simplicity, it's also very limited in functionality, and that is very intentional. As I used the app more, I found that I needed more flexibility as well, and that's when I created the interval chimes. With interval chimes, you can set up different intervals, so like 20 seconds followed by 5 seconds followed by 40 seconds. And then it will run and chime at those specific points. So there's a lot of flexibility in that. So first I am going to go ahead and uh, demo the quick chime for you. So we go in here to our quick chime and we'll click on edit. Inside here we set the chime frequency which is at what point do we want it to sound all right so let's say I want to do stretching and my stretches I need to hold them for 20 seconds so we'll go in here we'll tap on the seconds and then we'll go ahead and just enter 20 and then our stop after time is how long we want to do our stretching or work out for you know so let's say I want to stretch for six minutes so I'll go ahead and tap the minutes and then I'll put six in there and then we click down here to our chime title, and this is just a description of what it is. If you end up putting the app into the background, so you open up another app where you go to the home screen on the phone, the chime title will also appear when the app makes its notification, when it makes the alarm sound. Uh, that way you know what, you know what's happening. So we'll go ahead and put hold stretch in here. And that's what we'll see. And then we go ahead and hit back. And in here, we can actually start running. You just click on start. And it gives us a nice progress of what is happening. The inside, the bright orange here, this ring is our current progress for the current chime or the current interval, right? So once this counts down, we're going to hear the sound. There you go. The outside circle, is going to show us the total for all of our intervals, right? So we set it up to run for six minutes. It's going to correspond with this remaining time right here. And that's what the progress for that is. And at the end, it'll be fully blue. A couple things that you can do here is you can stop the chime and you can restart it. So it's more like a pause. And you can also reset your chime, set it back to zero. One thing that might also come in handy is you can actually reset it without pausing it. So if I hit reset here, everything goes back to zero and it just starts over again and it keeps running for you. So that's the quick chime. It's um, very useful for things like, well, like stretching or say you're out somewhere and you just need to set something up quickly. You get in, you edit it, it's real quick and simple. Um, also to note is that we, when you are in this edit screen, it's really easy to clear these out. You just tap it and boom, it's gone. So then you can quickly set up another one. We're in it for an hour every minute. Just real quick, real easy. 
And that's the whole goal of this view. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the interval chimes. One thing to note with interval chimes is that if you are using the app for free, as in you have not upgraded to Pro yet, so you're not a Pro user, you can create one interval chime. And you have unlimited functionality with it. You can add as many intervals as you want, run as many times as you want. There's no limitation, except that you can only run one. Upgrade to Pro if you want to create more than one. So one of the nice things, other nice things about these interval chimes is that you can save your chimes for later, basically. You can create as many as you want as a pro user, and you can just save them and name them whatever you want. So let's go ahead and, and demo one of these for you. We're going to create a new one, and let's say we want to work out. And you, there's a lot of scientific evidence that high-intensity interval workouts are like really good and healthy for you. So we're going to set up a high-intensity uh, sprint setting for ourselves. So we're going to cl click into, let me show you that again so you didn't miss it. We're going to click on the chime title right here. This gives us the settings for the chime uh, as a whole. This like covers all the intervals, right? The first thing we'll do is we'll set our chime title. And let's go ahead and call it um, sprints. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and set a repeat type. Okay. So you might remember in the quick chime, we, we, we set how long we wanted it to run for. Well, inside the interval chime, we can create sets, which is how many times we want to repeat, how many times we want to repeat the sequences. All right. So let's say, if we're going to set up two intervals, like in this case, we want to repeat it, you know, five times or ten times. You can do that. Or we can change this to repeat for the run time. And it will repeat our sequences until that time expires. So we're going to ahead and set that. There's another setting here that will ask you every time you start from zero, so you're starting the timer fresh, if you have this turned on, it's going to ask you how long you want to run for every time you start it. And that also works for the sets as well, if you have the repeat style set to sets. So we're going to go ahead and set this, and we're going to go ahead and set this to run for five minutes. And then you can tap anywhere to dismiss that. The other setting that we have here is our chime sounds, all right? By default, the app comes with a triangle sound. That's what you get. If you upgrade to Pro, you can use any of the sounds that are here. And right now there's only four, but I have plans in the future to add more. Uh, you can also hear them before you upgrade, and I'll demo that for you right here. You got bell, triangle, which is the default, alarm, and a nice little flute sound, a little bit softer for you. Triangle is my favorite, but they all kind of have their own little niches, depending on what you're doing and what you just like personally. So we have the chime as a whole set up, so let's go ahead and click done. This takes us back to the overview. Now let's go ahead and create our intervals for this. We'll give our interval a title and like in the quick chimes, the title will display inside of the notifications if you have the app closed. And it also displays the current interval when you're running your chime. So let's go ahead and say sprint because we're going to be going fast and we're going to set this interval to 20 seconds. And then let's go ahead and hit done. And now let's go ahead and create another one. And this one is going to be our rest interval. All right, and now let's go ahead and set the runtime on that to 10 seconds. And then hit done. So what we have set up is we have our first interval of 20 seconds where we're sprinting and our second interval of 10 seconds when we're resting. And then based on our settings, it's going to run that for five minutes. So that is all set up. So let's go ahead and go back to our chime list. And you see our new one right here. And you just tap right in here. And there you go. You can start it. And it counts down. All right. And one of the nice things about this chime interval list here is that it also shows you a status of your intervals, right? And you can even start and stop it. And you can see that it, it displays our current status in here already as well for us. It's a very handy, handy location to be. So as you can see, I have several set up already. 
I have a stretching one, I have a Pomodoro one, and my sprints. So when you're looking at what, uh, what this might be useful for, obviously it's very useful for exercising and for doing workouts. Um, it's useful for productivity methods. Pretty much anything where you have a need for a recurring alarm, this can be pretty useful. You can even use it, say you're studying and you have five, five seconds per flashcard to give the answer. You can like time yourself and really start breezing through there without having to try and watch a clock or something somewhere else, which is going to distract you from your actual activity. So those are the main two chimes and how you set them up and run them. And let's just do a quick overview of a couple of other things. Uh, let's go into the settings here. Inside the settings, you can upgrade to be a pro user. Hop in here. It doesn't tell me anything here because Apple doesn't uh, display anything purchases when you're running in the demo. But you do this in your app and you'll see your pro level. If you've already purchased it, you can hit the restore button. If you're not sure, you can hit the buy button that, that will appear over here. Apple will not charge you twice if you've already purchased it. So if you're unsure, you can always hit purchase or restore and find out that way. Another feature that we have here is themes. So by default, it comes on the light theme. And if you want to use another one, it actually requires the upgrade to Pro. But you can preview it in here without having to do that. It just will not stick across the rest of the application. So here's the dark theme. And then we have a green terminal theme for any of you computer guys out there. It's based on terminals from the older computer days when you had a black monitor with green text on it. My favorite is still the default light one. And then we also have this setting for preferred orientation. What this will do is this will lock the app in portrait mode or landscape mode, uh, which is very useful depending on what you're doing. Say maybe you're biking and you have it in landscape mode, you don't want bumps like jumping that around or if you're stretching on the floor, you don't want to accidentally bump your phone a certain way and it goes into a weird orientation that you have trouble reading. So this will let you lock that in there. And then if you end up having a bug or something and you need to get a hold of me, you can go into these activity logs and this, this tells me everything that has been running on your phone, right? And then just flip this over to extended mode and then try running your chime again. That will log a bunch of extra info for me. And then if you come back in here, you can click on the mail link up here and it'll send me that log file so I can see what's happening and help you out. And if you do, make sure you enter a message in here as well so that I can uh, better respond to what your issue is. And we're not going to save that right now. And let's go ahead and exit back out into our settings. A couple other things, there's a rate in here and I very much appreciate the ratings that anyone gives me on the App Store. Um, you know, it just really makes me feel good when I see that other people are getting a lot of use out of the app. And the other thing is the feedback button in here, which automatically populates my email address for you and makes uh, and gives you a good spot to get a hold of me. So, you know, I want to hear about how you're using the app. I want to hear about what you like about it. I want to hear what you don't like. I want to hear how you think it might be able to be improved. Because uh, in the end, I want to help you uh, be more productive. I can cancel back out of that one. And then there's an FAQ down here that will give you more details. Uh, in case you have some questions that might be answered. And that is Chime Squirrel. I hope that you have enjoyed this little demo. I hope you download the app and I hope that it helps you to be uh, more productive. Thanks for watching.